You know, there are several things that help a product stand out from the competition. And the first one is when you're scrolling down on your Amazon listing or just on amazon.com, what you're going to notice is that the first thing that people you know, see when they're looking at a product is that the picture and also the price and also the first five to 10 words of your listing. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna share my screen here with you guys and show you exactly what I mean by that. So if you go to Amazon right now, and then you type just any product, you're gonna see this thing very quickly, is that the main image is the first thing that shows up. And then you have the first, you know, whatever, five to 10 keywords, and then you have the title, uh, I mean, the price, and then you also actually have the reviews. Now the reviews, when it comes to reviews, um, they're very important. They don't help you rank, but they are a credibility factor. So for instance, if you were looking at these two products side by side, they both had the same exact, you know, same exact everything, the picture, you know, obviously this has more than this. So they're selling a little bit more, but then also they were the same price. So same price, same everything. But then for you, it's like, well, you know, what is going to be the thing that's going to differentiate the two? Well, it's the reviews. This guy has 3,500 reviews. This guy has 1,700. It's literally half, right? For me, I would click on this listing before this listing. Ask yourself why. A few reasons. Number one, the reviews are higher. The rating is about the same. Although you're like, but Bashar, this is $23. This is $17. Sure. Here's why I'll click on this before I click on this. Number one, this guy is offering more than this guy. This guy has 3,500 reviews and this guy's offering a 10% coupon. Although at the end of the day, this might be still more valuable than this, but to the customer, this looks like it's more than this. You get more, although it's, it's more expensive. Oh, you know what? I'm getting 10% off. Okay, so this saves me $2.30. Oh, cool. All right. So this really ends up being like 21 bucks instead of 23. Okay, that's only like $4 more than that, but I'm getting one, two, three more things so even if I pay like $1.25 per, that means it's about the same, right? But it's got double the amount of reviews. So these are just a few things that customers look for and what can help you stand out. So creating you know, things like coupons, promotions, obviously working on your reviews, your main image makes a big difference. See, like for instance here, I'm not into this kind of stuff, but if you were, you would click on that, right? If you are, if, if your value proposition, if it's whatever it is, like for this guy, his value proposition is these three items, you need to make sure that you show them in that first image, right? You also need to make sure that you state them in your title, right? If it's your price, it's better than everybody else, not cheaper, just better than everybody else because it could be more expensive, but to the value to what you're getting, it's better, right? Make sure you, obviously you price it correctly. Right, so pricing things correctly, very important. Your main image and making sure that your, you know, uh, um, your your value proposition is very well uh, proposed. For instance, this guy is is offering. See, like here, here, what I would do is I would make sure that this is mentioned here. I don't know if it's an ebook or whatever it is. Is uh, top, see what whatever he's offering, right? Um, again, this guy. I would have probably made this a little bit bigger so that way you could see it more right? Um, save 8%. Okay, there we go. So this looks like it was discounted. It was $11.99 and now it's $10.99 plus it's offering a 10% coupon. Cool. 20% coupon. That's awesome. You know, so doing things like that will definitely help your listing um, in, in, in being more clickable than others, right? So those are just a few things that stand out. Uh, obviously, this is terrible. You know, I'll never click on this because it's, it's uh, uh, three... Uh, it's three stars out of five, right? And it's actually running out too. I don't, I don't like seeing things like that. You might want to make sure also you're not running out, right? So those are just a few things that I would look at when it comes to creating a, a great listing and how to, you know, how to stand out from the competition and how to make sure that your product is clickable more than your competitors. Hope this video found you well. If there's any other topics you'd like us to cover in this channel, please drop them in the chat below. See you in the next video. Take care.